There was an estate sale on our local Craigslist, and it said $5 for all you can stuff into a grocery bag. And I went and I stuffed a grocery bag. This thing probably weighs 10 pounds. And I'm going to share with you what I got because I have fun. It was not the most wonderful estate sale ever, but what I saw in the picture that caught my attention was the closet where I thought I saw a lot of men's plaid shirts. And I am planning a project that is going to call for men's plaid shirts. So I misread the ad. I thought it said a dollar a bag. I think I combined two ads in my memory. But $5 a bag is not bad. And look what I got. So we'll start out with the, the garage had been picked over. People had got there when it opened. And I'm sure that's where all of the tools from the pictures went. Which is fine because I wasn't particularly after tools. And on the covered porch, I found sheet music. I want to play with junk journaling. So books with yellowed paper and gorgeous sheet music. I was carrying things around seeing if maybe I was gonna have enough to fill a bag. I found the sheet music. I found a, an unopened package of memo pads. I have been getting memo pads at estate sales, especially when they're giving stuff like this away for free. And I found that if there are state sale notepads, I take better notes of what I am doing and jot things down because I'm not worried about using up the notepads I bought at the estate sale as opposed to the ones I got at the Dollar Tree. It makes no sense at all, but it works. And then I found a baggie of sequins. Again, I'm <clears throat> Not 100% why. I was trying to see if I could fill a bag with stuff I wanted. But tucked inside were these little tiny faceted beads. These are exactly the sort of stuff my great-grandma used in her projects. So I have got a weird fond spot for these little beads. And I want to make some Christmas ornaments and some dollhouse stuff. And when you're tucking it into the bottom of a bag knowing that it's going to cost you a couple pennies. You really don't have to rationalize it all that much. And then there were the jingle bells, but those are down under absolutely everything else. So we'll get to them in a bit. Let's talk about the shirts. The closets were full. And there were shirts. Apparently this man had a specific taste of color palette which is great for me because I'm making a quilt and look how well these will play together I don't know if you have looked for men's shirts at the thrift store they're not cheap it's probably been a long time since they were cheap so I have five really nice shirts that I got in my five dollar bag these would have cost me that much of a Goodwill outlet and wouldn't coordinate as well. And again, I would be precious and feel bad about cutting them up. And especially, I think it is this shirt. Look at the collar. <laughs> but the fabric of the shirt itself is pretty good. I see some paint stains, but there's enough working fabric in here that it'll work. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with a scarf with cute owls. It might be a bag or a purse or something. I found a dress that is by a specific company with a very bad reputation. But I have another dress in this style that I wear a lot. It is the ugliest print on the planet, but it is great for wearing around an air-conditioned house when it's 110 degrees. This one is pretty. I would have bought this one at the thrift store. I would have paid $5 for this dress and been really happy. So I have now justified this purchase twice over. I collect vintage children's mysteries and got Cherry Ames, student nurse, one of the, not a first edition or anything, but it's nice. I can't remember if I have this one or not. 
If I do, I'll pass it on to someone else. My son picked up a Jules Verne into the center of the earth. And it turns out that someone in this household was a scrapbooker. Back to that whole idea of I want to make junk journals. I'm not sure that I needed the square punch, but for a throw it in the bag and it's free with everything else, I now have it. I am not sure what this is. It's an embossing doohickey. I don't know how to use it. I have a Sizzix. I am on a couple groups where people talk about using this stuff, so I am sure I will be able to figure it out. It's a mason jar. I suddenly need to emboss mason jars on things. I will figure out how to do it. I have a Sizzix <clears throat> somewhere that I haven't used in forever. Also got a really cute little pie Sizzix die, which I am tickled pink by. If you watch my channel, you know I love doilies. I was not going to leave the pretty crochet or the beautiful vintage handkerchief or the fabulous embossed fabric. Again, I don't know quite what the plan is. There will be a plan. I have seen people do min miniature scenes in these little clear balls and this one is comes apart so you can do that so again the plan for that is a no-brainer clear translucent sheets I think I can print on these I think I need these for junk journaling again I don't know I don't know enough to know how I'm going to use some of this stuff but I knew I shouldn't walk away from it there was a ton of scrapbooking paper and when it came down to it, I didn't think I would get all this in one bag. I thought the shirts were bulkier than they were, and I tried to roll them all up tight. I could have filled a second bag with scrapbooking paper. They had a whole set of drawers of it. I could have got it all for five bucks. I probably could have made a cheap offer for the paper in the plastic drawers and... I didn't. I told myself I didn't need it. We got halfway across town and I thought about going back, but it would have been ridiculous to drag my son back across town. So I didn't. And there will always be more estate sales. There will always be more scrapbooking paper. Jingle bells and little, these look more like cowbells. And a measuring tape because you never have too many of those. I'm really happy with what I got for five bucks. The shirts alone are worth it. The dress alone is worth it. The little bits of bric-a-brac that I plan on using for junk journaling are just a bonus. I'm, I love garage sailing season. Estate sales aren't as seasonal, but it's nice when the sun is shining and it's not muddy. And this place actually was on a paved road with parking. So that is always a bonus. I'm going to get my things organized. I am going to start working on some projects. I actually have half a plan for this punch and half plans for a lot of the rest of this stuff and huge fully formed plans for the shirt. So there will be a video soon on making quilts on a budget because quilt store fabric is expensive. You don't have to make your quilts with quilt store fabric. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. If you know how to use that embossing die without all the right equipment, let me know. I'll be back with you with more videos soon.